Thank you very much. Um, it's uh, always a pleasure to be um, with uh, uh, IPI and to discuss the energy security. And we had a very good uh, evening session last night and today uh, we are continuing with all these things. And I'm really happy to be here again at the second time after two years. And uh, uh, hopefully I will try to clarify some uh, points that were made yesterday and today as far as the... Uh, Yeah, if you look at this map, this is the map uh, from our turbulent gas uh, uh, company that is uh, uh, building uh, the Tapi pipeline that is already started uh, on, on, on our territory. So number one thing is that if you see on the uh, green area, you see the Galkanish uh, gas field, uh, which was formerly known as Osman South Latin and all, and all others. And uh, this gas, uh, gas field now contains 27.4, uh, uh, I believe, uh, trillion cubic meters of uh, unassociated gas, as Dr. Uh, uh, mentioned. So here, um, uh, there are um, different <coughs> points in the media always uh, circulating and saying that always that uh, we are looking at the Caspian Sea uh, gas, uh, which should uh, go to India. No, it is not uh, uh, correct. Uh, the thing is that this is the devoted uh, gas uh, uh, field for the TAPI. And the uh, last uh, point here is that uh, the third uh, um, stage of the gas uh, purification plant that is under construction now, done by the Japanese technology, and the Japanese are doing it uh, turnkey, as a turnkey project. So the pipeline that runs in Turkmenistan, it's, uh, you, as you see, it's only 214, and then you have 774 and 826. Uh, so these green points over there, those are all compressor stations that will help us to pump the gas. So 33 BCM. Turkmenistan started uh, gas exploration and gas uh, <coughs> uh, utilization since the uh, uh, mid-60s. So now we have almost uh, more than 50 years of uh, practical experience in doing the uh, major gas projects. And uh, at the peak of uh, our exports, at, uh, by um, uh, um, mid-90s, it was uh, some 90 BCM of uh, uh, commercial gas which means that uh, we have a capacity, we have experience, and we have a technological uh, uh, progress to do. And add to that, just recently, uh, in December, it was, uh, we have commissioned one uh, pipeline, internal pipeline, which is called uh, East-West Pipeline, capable of carrying, again, 30 BCM of gas per year, uh, in order, uh, which gives us a, a flexibility in uh, uh, diverting any, uh, in any casualty or in, in, in any uh, uh, chance that there is any disruption in any direction, we can just uh, circulate the gas from other gas fields to the TAPI uh, gas pipeline. So this is major things that I wanted to tell. And uh, other thing is that in, uh, in uh, pipeline strategy is that we're all uh, looking into the uh, future as uh, you know, energy security and transportation security becomes one of the major issues in the, uh, in the global economy. And uh, since 2008, we've been proposing uh, several uh, um, uh, resolutions in the United Nations General Assembly. And the one that is uh, uh, come up uh, last year, it was the last one on uh, the transport uh, transit co uh, transit corridors, and the other one is on the energy security corridors. So we are all now, uh, uh, as Turkmenistan is a very much a reliable supplier of gas, and you would uh, see that uh, we were not any in any case uh, the reason of disruption. We were always the reason of, uh, or even uh, the casualty of the uh, someone else, uh, you know, stopping buying gas or something else, but not Turkmenistan giving the, uh, uh, on the contrary. So this is the things that I wanted uh, to tell, and the distance is not a problem at all, and if uh, our experience go to go by, then our gas is burning in Hong Kong, so this will be an answer for the, uh, the, the length of the pipeline. 